and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stocks. What should I'm here reviewing the QQQs? Guess what? They made brand new all-time highs today, and it looks like we're headed to the next target. And no one, no one should be surprised at this because the market has been showing incredible strength the entire year of 2017. People keep talking about the market's going to fall and it's going to break and we're going to crash and we're going to do this, that, and the other thing. You don't, you don't predict crashes and you don't predict tops and bottoms. You look at what's happening in live real time, like today, like you see what's happening, and you read strength or weakness. Boom, that's it. So let's take a look at it. Today we ran up in the queues, 146.21. Really nice move in the queues today. We gapped up. We gapped up here too. Gapped up here, rallied. This was Wednesday. Gapped up Thursday, rallied, went over the high. I mean, to be able to gap up today and hold this area right here is so, so strong, people. This is so much strength for the market to do this. And actually, a telltale sign was the gap down that we had back on Tuesday, failed to go lower on, rallied and power traded all day, and then followed through here on Wednesday. And then obviously today. So, you know, the market is clearly getting bought. How do I know? I can see it. The low just for the last three days is 141. We've rallied more than $5 in three days. And we've gapped up every day for the last two days too and failed to go lower on a gap down. So boom, that is signs of strength. Here, we're even up a little bit in the post market, it looks like. Yep. Anyways, uh, the 150 is a target for the QQQs. That's, that's a real number that it looks like the cues are headed to with smooth sky sailing. Whether or not we go straight there, we wiggle and jiggle, do we go there? No one knows. You gotta look, get up every morning, you read the gaps, you read the charts of the market. But 150 looks like it's in sight for the QQQs at some point in 2017. It is really not that far away. And this is really just an, a, a tremendous, I don't wanna call it save, I mean, but a, a tremendous bullish move for the market this week. I mean, it is a holiday week, you know, and we didn't have any kind of significant news this week that would have created the rally, okay? And yet we rallied still, and we did drop off on the 17th here and could have followed through lower here. I mean, we could have pulled all the way back and still been extremely strong and bullish. We could have pulled into here, here, here. We could have pulled all the way down into here. We didn't do it, okay? So, buying came into the market, held up, rally, 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 rally. We're over 146. Well, I don't know where we go to start off the first week of September. Next week could be low volume two. People are out. Monday is Labor Day. Market's closed. But I will tell you that this, this, this is shaping up to be an extremely bullish year in 2017. And, and no one should be even thinking about picking tops and bottoms. It is just an incorrect way to trade. You look and see what's happening in the price and live time, and you read it. And I'm reading the strength. You read strength, and you read weakness. And that's how you know what to do when you're trading. So good luck, everyone. If you're in the market long, congratulations, because you got a great move up in here in the last week or today. And uh, I hope everyone has a safe and holiday, uh, holiday weekend, safe and happy holiday weekend. And if you're interested in more information on the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next class is September 16th and 17th. Have a great day, everyone.